This is an extremely important breast tumor. The reason why it's important is because it is overwhelmingly the most common benign tumor in the breast, particularly in younger women. This is a fibroadenoma. Notice the name fibro is before the word adenoma because when you look at this tumor, perhaps 80-90% of it is a proliferation of benign appearing fibrous tissue and the adenoma or glandular or ductal part is relatively small. These have the consistency of a super ball, and they're very well defined. And of course, if they stay in the breast long enough uh, into old age, they can frequently become very uh, fibrotic and, and calcified as well. In the old days, they used to classify these into either intracanalicular or pericanalicular, and I can never understand the difference. But anyway, one day somebody says, who cares? And now nobody classifies them that way anymore. But the uh, fibroadenomas have this characteristic appearance of an abundant fibrous tissue. It could probably be classified more as a mesenchymal or fibrous tumor of the breast with the uh, glandular portion being incidental and often is classified uh, not in the glandular proliferations. Notice it has a very well-defined margin. Uh, and what more can I say? The fibrous tissue, if you notice, is nice and spindly with fibroblasts and collagen. And the um, material covering or between these uh, well-defined lobules of fibrous tissue are epithelial cells also that look very nice and uniform. But even if you see an occasional atypical cell here, and you just back, or a mitosis like you see there, but you just back up and look at the entire picture, I don't think uh, many pathologists would really uh, zoom in the old microscopic uh, objective much higher than this once they see it, because it automatically uh, makes you think, bingo, knee jerk, slam dunk, fibroadenoma, tell the patient, tell the doctor it's benign, and of course, if it's in a younger woman and it is well-defined uh, radiologically or by palpation, it's probably going to be in uh, fibroadenoma anyway, even before you look at it microscopically. Thank you very much.